I do not believe in taking the right decision. I take a decision and make it right. No nation can rise to the height of glory unless your women are side by side with you. Think 100 times before you take a decision, but once that decision is taken, stand by it as one man. If you will work in cooperation, forgetting the past, burying the hatchet, you are bound to succeed. One of the biggest curses from which India is suffering, I do not say that other countries are free from it, but I think our condition is much worse, is bribery and corruption. That really is a poison. There are two powers in the world. One is the sword and the other is the pen. There are great competition and rivalry between the two. There is a third power stronger than both, that of the women. It is only with united effort and faith in our destiny that we shall be able to translate the Pakistan of our dreams into reality. Democracy is in the blood of the Muslims who look upon complete equality of mankind and believe in fraternity, equality, and liberty. With faith, discipline and selfless devotion to duty, there is nothing worthwhile that you cannot achieve. India is not a nation, nor a country. It is a subcontinent of nationalities. I have lived as plain Mr. Jinnah, and I hope to die as plain Mr. Jinnah. I am very much averse to any title or honors, and I will be more than happy if there was no prefix to my name. I have nothing to do with this pseudo-religious approach that Gandhi is advocating. Any idea of a united India could never have worked and in my judgment, it would have led us to terrific disaster. Islam expects every Muslim to do this duty, and if we realize our responsibility, time will come soon when we shall justify ourselves worthy of a glorious past. The story of Pakistan, its struggle and its achievement, is the very story of great human ideals struggling to survive in the face of great odds and difficulties. Pakistan not only means freedom and independence but the Muslim ideology which has to be preserved, which has come to us as a precious gift and treasure in which we hope other will share with us. I sincerely hope that the relations between India and Pakistan will be friendly and cordial. We have a great deal to do and think that we can be of use to each other and to the world. I am not going to respect gray hairs unless there is wisdom beneath them. No settlement with the majority is possible, as no Hindu leader speaking with any authority shows any concern or a genuine desire for it. Come forward as servants of Islam, organize the people economically, socially, educationally and politically. And I am sure that you will be a power that will be accepted by everybody. You have to stand guard over the development and maintenance of Islamic democracy, Islamic social justice and the equality of manhood in your own native soil. No struggle can ever succeed without women participating side by side with men. What I am afraid of is Gandhi. He has brains and always tried to put me in the wrong.
I have to be on guard and alert all the time.